don't have any confidence in Ohm's law. The conductivity, sigma, is a strong function of the temperature. If you increase the temperature, then the time tau between collisions goes down because the speed of these free electrons goes up. It's a very strong function of temperature. And so if tau goes down, then clearly what will happen is that the conductivity will go down. And that means rho will go up. And so you get more resistance. And so when you heat up the substance, the resistance goes up. Higher temperature, higher resistance. So the moment that the resistance R becomes a function of the temperature, I call it a total breakdown of V equals IR, a total breakdown of Ohm's law. If you look in your book, they say, oh, no, 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 that's not a breakdown. You just have to adjust the, re the, the resistance for a different temperature. Well, yeah, that's an incredible poor man's way of saving a law that is a very bad law because the temperature itself is a function of current. The higher the current, the higher the temperature. And so now you get a ratio V divided by I, which is no longer constant. It becomes a function of the current. That's the end of Ohm's law. And so I want to show you that if I do the same experiment that I did here, but if I replace this by a light bulb of 50 ohms, it's a very small light bulb. Resistance, when it is hot, is 50 ohms. When it is cold, it is 7 ohm. So our cold of the light bulb is roughly 7 ohms, I believe. But I know that when it is hot, it's very close to the 50 ohms. I think it's a little lower. What do you expect now? Well, you expect now that when the resistance is low in the beginning, you get this, and then when the resistance goes up, you're going to get this. I may end up a little higher current because I think the resistance is a little lower than 50 ohms. And if you see a curve like this, that's not linear anymore. So that's the end of Ohm's law. And that's what I want to show you now. So all I do is here I have this little light bulb. For those of you who sit close, they can actually see that light bulb start glowing, but that's not important. I really want you to see that V versus I is no longer linear. There you go. And you see every time you see this light bulb go on, it heats up, and during the heating up, it, um, the resistance increases. And it's the end of Ohm's law for this light bulb, at least. It was fine for the other resistor, but it was not fine for this light bulb. 